So, Believer, your lovely host, Mr. Believer, is back with another amazing video where we will learn how to earn millions of coins from the upcoming exchange investments. Furthermore, I have covered all these topics throughout this video. 1. Preparation for tomorrow's exchange packs. 2. How to build a 95 to 100 rating beast squad with less amount of coins. 3. Make millions of coins from upcoming investments. Point number 2 and 3 will be useful in your real life, so don't miss that part. Now, for more amazing contents just like this, please make sure you have subscribed to the channel and you can join our Discord server for any help regarding the FC Mobile. Anyway, let's go to point number one, preparation for tomorrow's exchange packs. So actually tomorrow we have a good opportunity to make millions of coins, and that's going to help us a lot in building a good squad. Before we begin, a lot of users are facing a glitch where they can't exchange Lunar New Year's players, so I suggest you... Guys, don't invest in Lunar New Year players for now. As we used to get weekend challenges on Saturday and Sunday, tomorrow also we are going to get weekend challenges, and from the weekend challenge we will get 88 to 97 rating players, which is going to be interesting. Maybe some of you will even pack 92 to 97 rating players also. Another thing we can get in the weekend challenge is the mixed version exchange pack. I mean 82 to 97 rating mixed exchange pack. And most people think this is a really lucky pack as it gives good returns. Guys, just join the Discord server and make sure to upload tomorrow's exchange pack in the pack opening channel. I will watch what you guys pack. And if you guys are having less coins for the investment then, I suggest investing on the 85 to 86 rating toady cards. As when that 82 to 97 rating exchange packs comes, they will increase in value as the requirements is 85 plus rating toady players. Tomorrow when the value reaches around 1 million you can sell to get some decent profit. Another exchange pack that we are going to get is Roberto Carlos Exchange, and guys, it's going to be 94 Roberto Carlos. You can see the amazing stats of Roberto Carlos. So let me know if you need this Carlos or not. If you are going for this Carlos Exchange, then go and make sure to check the Carlos Exchange requirements video, as you can earn a lot of coins by investing in the Carlos Exchange requirements. So I have explained everything in this video. The link is in the description section. Now, another important exchange pack that we are going to get is 93 to 94 rating exchange pack. And I know well that a lot of you guys have already invested in the 90 rating players, as many of you are thinking the requirements of the 93 to 94 rating exchange pack will be 90 to 92 rating. But still we have some confusion regarding the 93 to 94 SBC requirements, and do you guys know what kind of confusion? Yes, surely the 94 rating players in 93 to 94 exchange pack. Some of you may ask me there is only 94 rating players in this 93 to 94 rating exchange, so Believer Bro, will the exchange requirements change? And even some of you may ask me, is there risk for investing on 90 rating players? So for that, I will do prediction of three things. 1. I think if the exchange pack title is 93 to 94, then there will be no change for the requirements, and your investment is not risky. 2. You can see only 94 rating players, right? So is it like this 94 rating exchange pack is separate? and there will be different 93 to 94 rating packs? If it's like that then, still your investment is going to be safe. But if EA brings only 94 rating exchange packs then, requirements will be possibly 91 to 92, due to which 90 investment will be risky. 3. You may ask I haven't invested in the 90 rating players yet, so should I invest? I think it's going to be 5 to 10% risky as most of the good investors in the market are trying to avoid this exchange pack, but still I have done some 19 million. Investment in the 90 rating players. I haven't made a big investment because of some reason, and I will let you know that reason in point number 3. So in case you guys haven't invested in the 90 rating players then, you have to do one thing, and that is wait till the tomorrow refresh time for doing the exchange. You can easily get refresh time in this kind of pack, and when the game refreshes immediately go to the exchange, see requirements and just try to buy a lot of required players. Remember, one thing, you have to invest in the lowest requirements. There are also beginners, so I am saying small things because if they get small losses also, then it will be painful to them. So guys, don't invest in 91 or 92 rating players in the 90 to 92 requirements. Just invest in 90 as their prices are low, and everyone will try to buy low price players for that exchange. You can invest in two things tomorrow. Go and check the Carlos requirement and try to invest in the Carlos requirements. Now. Please if you want to know what kind of Carlos requirement is best to invest then, please make sure to check this Carlos exchange video. Another exchange pack is 93 to 94, and I already told you everything. So now let's move to point number 2, and 3, how to build a 95 to 100 rating B squad with less amount of coins and make millions of coins from upcoming investments. Alright, it's really not going to matter if you guys are really on 90, 91, 92 or even 100 overall rating squad because this method will help you to increase your overall rating of your squad. 1. Buying the cheap beast player from the market. 
So you guys might have some low rating players in your squad who are replaceable. For example, I have Gerard right now in my squad with 90 rating. So right now, there are a lot of Toti players whose value are literally too much down. And within one to three days, you will see the same player will increase like a skyrocket in the value. For example, just yesterday, a 95 rating exchange pack came and there were a lot of good U Toti and other events players, right? So all those players who are in this 95 rating exchange pack really don't deserve that much value. They are too much down just because many people opened this 95 rating exchange pack and people were selling those players excessively. And as you guys know, it's a basic rule of the market that if there is a lot of supply, then obviously the player's value will decrease. And the same thing is happening right now in the market. They are dropped a lot more down. I think almost every player available in this 95 rating pack is going to recover the price, but also buy them by seeing their stats. I am 100% sure in the case of 95 rating U Toti, they will increase a lot because 96 to 97 rating exchange packs will come again, and that pack needs 95 rating Toti or U Toti players. So as I need a good midfielder, I bought Bellingham, and I am going to test him for some days. Literally, it just cost me 32 million coins, and I am sure he will increase a lot within two to three days. So, as I already said you guys, 96 to 97 is also coming. I invested 6 Holland cards in 30 million coins each. So if both of these two cards reach 45 million also, I can get around 14 million profit per card, excluding tax, which will be around 100 million coins profit. Still, I do have 1x Rodri, Hernandez and Holland card, which I got from 95 exchange packs. I was not able to sell them as my phone is a bit slow and connection is also not that smooth. So I learned one more thing in yesterday's 95 rating exchange pack, which was that you have to immediately sell players whenever you pack something good from this kind of exchange packs. 2. Never try to build a squad until you have a good amount of coins for the good squad. So if you really want to reach 96, 97 or even 100 rating squads, then never ever try to use the purchased player. I don't mean that you can't play with the player you bought, but I just mean that, suppose I bought Bellingham for 32 million, right? So, it's absolutely fine that I bought, used him for ranked matches and so on. But what I mean is, your intention should not be using him as a permanent player, because that's really going to ruin your investment. Some of you really don't know what the power of investment is. I mean, investment always compounds, so do not underestimate the power of investment. I used to make the same mistake in the previous days. For example, suppose two people invested in Messi's card. Man 1 invested on only one card of Messi with 2 million coins, where Man 2 invested two cards of Messi with the same 2 million coins. Now they hold both of the cards for 3 days, and Messi's card's price went up to 4 million. And both Man 1 and Man 2 sold the Messi card for 4 million. So Man 1 got 2 million profit, right? And look at this my bro, Man 2 got 4 million profit. Suppose if I invested on 50 cards of Messi with 2 million coins, then my profit would be 2 million per card, right? So that will be a 100 million profit, right? So just look at this, the more you are investing, the more you are getting. If I had invested 100 cards that time then, I would have gained 200 million profit. So investment takes time to learn, but once you master it then, not thing is impossible in this game, I mean you can build whatever squad you want. I am also not the master of investment, but I am just trying my best to do research and give a good knowledge to you guys, because investment is not only useful in this game, but it's useful in the stock market real life also. And the basic things are similar everywhere, so once you build a foundation, you will grab everything easily. And whenever you keep on invest on, the more coins you are able to invest it just keep on getting more and more compound, that's how you are going to make a billion coins and say to me now, won't you be able to build a 100 rating team if you guys have a good amount of coins? So I mean that, your primary focus should not be on building a squad, my believer bro. Your focus should be on making more coins. For now, just enjoy the player which you invest. Like I invested in Bellingham, and I am sure when the 96 to 97 rating exchange packs comes in 21 February, I will sell him once his price will rise, and up to that time I will use him as I want. After that I will sell him for around 45 million, which will give me 12 million easy profit, as I bought him for 32 million. So there is nothing to worry if you have less coins also i was with zero knowledge before in terms of investment and at that time i used to have 20 to 40 million coins but later on i tried to learn investment and now somehow i am earning a good amount of coins also some of you commented to me that you lost some coins in the investment so if you are not getting my words then don't try to invest with high coins just go with little coins and once you start getting good profit you will be interested in investment and that's how your growth will start for now, if you lose a small amount of coins, also think like you are learning something because when you try to swim, if you think you can swim on the first try, then you are a fool, because I am sure that most of us will drown when we learn it. So take it easy if you are bearing loss. It's part of investment and even a lot of good investments bear loss. Even I lost a lot of coins. Be happy and enjoy the moment. 
So yeah, my all of you believer bros, that's it for today's video and I hope you have learned something from this video. So for more amazing content just like this, please make sure you have subscribed to the channel and I will meet you guys with another one. Till then, your lovely host Mr. Believer is signing out.